How many of you have unanswered prayers? I want to see your hand. Those that are watching by the internet, lift your hands too. Okay. You're not alone. Because Jesus also has unanswered prayers. He said this is what he prayed. He asked the Father. He said, Father, I ask you that they become one as you and me are one. And then he said, Father, let your glory be in them and manifest. Have we seen the unity of the church yet? We're still fighting. We, we're not in unity. So Jesus is waiting for his answer. So don't get discouraged. Number two, how many of you have experienced answered prayers? Yes. Okay, I'm going to ask you this moment in a minute. What is the heart of God toward prayers? How God thinks toward your prayers? What happened to you when you have your prayers answered? What happened to you? Anybody tell me? Oh, your faith in your joy. Touch your neighbor and tell him, you're going to have a lot of joy this morning. Is it the will of God to, to have unanswered prayers? Why do you have to have, what's the purpose? Why God wants all your prayers to be answered? Is it the will of God to answer all your prayers? Say yes. yes. And this is the key question. How to have all your prayers answered? How many of you wants to know that? I want to see your hands. If I don't see, I don't teach it. I want you to see and give you an introduction. Down through the ages, there are prayers that have been done by the apostles, prophets, patriarchs, uh, teachers, evangelists, believers. And now they have not been answered. And where are you, the prayers that you have not received your answers? They're not in the air, floating in the air. There is, there, your prayers are in accumulated in a place called a cup of prayer. Revelation chapter 5. Okay, let me see what he says. And then, then he said, And the Lamb had been given every harp a golden of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. Okay, questions. Where are the prayers that you have not received your answers? Where? In a golden vial. It's a cup. It's similar to this. It's a cup. Prayers inside. And all the saints now are before God. I'm going to start this new series of prayer. From the end, not from the beginning. Next Sunday, I'm going to start teaching on how to, the steps of the Abba Father prayer, especially how you can have that relationship between a father and a son. And so I want you to see very carefully. So all the prayers through the ages and through the centuries that have not been answered are in this cup filled with the prayers of the saints. Can I hear an amen? amen? Even the prayers of Jesus are there. John 17, 22. So Jesus said, And the glory you gave me, I have given them that they may be one. Do you believe we are one? No, we're still not one. We're still fighting. So there's still not unity in the church of Jesus Christ. So that prayer still have not been poured out. Lift your hands and say, pour out. Okay, and I want you to write this down. The outpouring of this cup is an end time event. I'm going to say it again. Your prayers that have not been answered are not floating in the air. 
But they're right now before the throne of God, waiting to be poured out on the earth. And this will be an end time event. Say with me, an end time event. This cup is about to be poured out on the earth. So many people now are discouraged, uh, frustrated, because they haven't seen their prayers answered. There's so many, so many things I can speak on prayer. There are three books I have. Can you stand and, and this book, you can go get it and later. Uh, prayer, Breakthrough Prayer, and um, you can get it in the back. But the reason I wanted to tell you is that there's so many things about prayer. What is prayer? Why you need to pray? Three, what are the foundations of prayer? What are the types of prayer we can do before God? And I can go on and on and on. What's the purpose of prayer? Why we pray? What, what is the reason God prays? So God, consider your prayer so precious. Lift your hand and say, precious. That he doesn't just keep it in the air. He put it in that cup. And then he said, the secret in this time that this cup will be poured out on the earth. We're living in the time where everything, say with me, everything, in the end time is coming to pass. And there's an acceleration because we already have very short time. God must accelerate prophecies, prayers, and promises. This end time, there's an acceleration of prophecies. How many of you have prophecies in your life? Personal prophecies. I want to see your hands. So this, are the, this is the season where God will release and accelerate the fulfillment of your prophecies, prayers, and uh, promises. Can I hear an amen? So... It is not the will of God for you to have unanswered prayer. This is something that you need to write. It is not in his heart, in his will, for you to have unanswered prayers. It is the will of God for you to have all your prayers answered. And I want you to write this very key wisdom seed. The Lord spoke to me and the Lord said to me, he said, son, Every prayer done that has been done in the will of God has never been forgotten. I'm going to say it again. The Lord said to me, any prayer you have done in my will has never been forgotten. God the Father has not forgotten your prayers for your family. I wish I can hear an amen on that. God has not forgotten what you pray for your finances. He hasn't forgotten the prayers for your healing. He hasn't forgotten the prayer for revival. He hasn't forgotten what you pray because to Him, your prayers are precious to Him. So many people now are discouraged, frustrated because they haven't seen their breakthrough. The main issue is this. I am not impressed for how long people pray, even though my prayer life is very intense. I, I spend hours and hours praying in the presence of God. What you see manifested in my life that had nothing to do with me. It had to do with my prayer life behind it. So, but I'm not impressed for long hours, which I do. I'm not impressed how beautiful you pray. I'm not impressed how long you pray, how beautiful you pray, or how words you use. This is the key issue. The key is, have you have your prayers answered? 
I don't think you got it. This is the key. If you are here today, if you come Monday to pray, Tuesday morning, Wednesday morning, Thursday morning, the question is, have you have results? Are your prayers being effective? Are you changing things? Because when you pray, you change things. I'm going to say this to you. Prayer has, prayer has such a power that changes and shifted things. Prayer shifts things. Prayer shifts history. If you want to change your physical circumstances, if you want to change your, what you see with your eyes, you need to hit it with prayer. In other words, prayer has so much power. But the question is, if people will understand what prayer is, let me tell you, they will pray more. This generation lost the art of prayer. This generation depends on the prayers of other people. And so many people, believers in the church now, they're frustrated, discouraged because they prayed and prayed and prayed. And they say, where are my prayers that I prayed? Where? Where did they go? What happened? And can I say something to you for your comfort? Let me say something to you. When you have prayers not answered, it doesn't mean that you are in sin. In other words, don't feel bad. Oh, it's because I'm doing something wrong. There's only one key to have your prayers answered. If you align with that key, your prayers, will, all your prayers will be answered. Can I hear an amen on that? So this cup is before God. And the main issue is, are we having results? Are your prayers being answered? Specifically, and the Lord said to me, the Lord said, Son, this is, is a season of answered prayer. Why God? When you understand this, those that are watching by the internet, don't get disconnected. Because God is about to pour this cup. Touch your neighbor and tell him, my prayer is there. How many of you have unanswered prayer? Okay, where is it? And before what? Before me or before the presence of God? So God's saying, okay, why God want your prayers to be answered? In a very simple language. What's the purpose? Why is it? Because God says, man, all these people... They bother me every day. I don't have no other choice to answer them. Is that what he says? So why then? Number one, numero uno. Touch your neighbor and tell him uno. No, no, say it louder, come on. I'm going to teach you Spanish. Number one is this. Those that are watching by the internet. Why God? Why? Is it because he got so busy as God that he say, well... You know, I, I have to answer the prayer. Those people have me up to here. <laughs> what is it behind answer prayers? Number one, Proverbs 15, 8. Your prayers are his delights. Yeah. Your prayers, you're going to change your mind now because you're not going to see and you're going to ask God because now you're going to say... I'm, I don't want to bother God. I'm asking too much. I'm a beggar. And God says, when you pray, I rejoice. I, I enjoy it. Ask me. I'm your papa. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord. But the prayer of the upright, the Christian, the believer, is his delight every time you open your mouth 
He says, the Lord, I present my children. They rebellious now. And the Lord said, please tell me about your children because I delight in answering you. Now you're going to change your mind. You're going to say, oh, I'm bothering God. Oh, no, I don't want to ask. I'm asking God too much. Touch your neighbor and tell him, my God is my God too much. Tell him, my God is too much. Hey. So he said, I want you to, he, God the Lord says, I am delighting in your prayers. I'm so joyful when you ask me. And <laughs> the Lord says, as a matter of fact, the book of Cantares, you know, we call it Cantares Spanish songs, 214. This is what he says. When God doesn't hear your voice, he misses your voice in prayer. God says, the song of songs, oh my dove, talking about Jesus and the church and God the Father and his children. He said, oh my dove, touch the name and tell him, my father's calling me dove. But not dove from the, you know, not dove like, you know, like a little bird, no. Okay. The art <laughs> in the secret place of the stairs. Let me see thy countenance. Let me hear thy voice. Ask me, please. Let me hear your voice. I miss you when you don't talk to me every day. I miss your voice. That's why you need to... I'm going to stay where they help me over here. The Lord says, it's not, you don't bother me. Oh, but, 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 but yesterday I was so mad. I, I, you know, well, the Lord said, just repent. Come to me. I want to hear your voice. He said, for I, let me hear thy voice. For sweet is thy voice. The Lord talking to his children. He said, sweet. Oh, but my voice is so bad. I mean, how many of you don't like to hear your voice? When you talk on the phone or an email voice, I want to see your hands. That happened to me too. I said, I don't like my voice. I don't like my voice. And the Lord said, but I anointed your voice. He said, I anointed your voice for you to worship me, for you to ask me, for you to pray to me. So my voice is anointed when I say, Father, in the name of Jesus, the Lord said, wait a minute, one of my sons is crying out to me, and that is my delight. Oh, I, 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 oh yeah, touch your neighbor and tell him, yeah. So he said, sweet is thy voice and thy countenance, oh my God. So now, no more saying, Lord, uh, Apostle, but I don't want to ask God too much. I don't want to bother him. Children's never bother. Well, only, only children responded. <laughs> so the Lord says, Matthew 7, 7, he's ready to answer all your prayers. But you need to speak. You need to ask. You don't have because you don't ask. I said, you don't have because you don't ask. You need to ask. But Apostle, but what, I, what, I, what I want to ask God is big. How big is your God? How big is your God? Ask for big. Don't ask for a small thing. Ask for big thing. Ask for healing, miracle, deliverance. Your God is a God. Oh, my Touch your neighbor and tell him, yeah.